Well, folks, we've come to that point where we're ready to uh, open up the brand new Air Studio. It's so exciting. Uh, Miles Smith is here. He, we want to thank him for actually gluing everything together for us. You can see it just looks gorgeous. We're going to try to walk through what has to happen or what, uh, how it happens, I guess, works. And we're going to do that hopefully as smoothly as possible. We'll just start with the big picture right now. We have uh, what we call Air 1. This is Computer 1. And we have Air 2, which is Computer 2. Of course, you have your microphones here. You're going to have two other microphones over here for your guests, et cetera. Mic 1, Mic 2, Mic 3. Yeah. And uh, this is the uh, console itself. It uh, functions much like the uh, other one. It's just uh, a lot prettier, and the buttons are in just a little bit different place. But uh, nonetheless, the concept is the same. Uh, telephone uh, is here with us. Uh, we have an array of things here in this console that uh, you'll be, uh, or this uh, stack that you'll be using. There's going to be four CD players here. We have what's called the gadget. Uh, is it? There's two two gadget interfaces, things to plug in your phone or laptop. We'll talk about in more detail. Yeah. Again, four CD players, and then also for using the phones uh, for those who want to do on air uh, interviews. And we have the two turntables over here, and uh, uh, they will start remotely, and we'll go over that. So that's the big picture. What do we want to do now, uh, Miles? Um, talk the, about the board. I think walk walk through the console. Yeah. So uh, we'll we'll talk about the individual items in some in just a little detail as we go through them. Uh, mics one, two, three. One, two, three. They're labeled uh, on the. They're labeled up here. Uh, you'll get you'll get to know them well. Um, um, and then there's a fourth uh, input that's patchable down below. Troy can show you if you need a, a an extra a fourth microphone at some point. Um, then there's the faders for the four CD players in a row here. Um, then there's, as previously mentioned, the two gadget inputs. Um, gadgets meaning telephone or computer or what have you. Um, gadget one is to the left of the console, so if you have a laptop or something, you can come in and set it right here. There's an outlet strip right back there, and there's a semi-permanently attached cable that says gadget one on it, and then you plug it in to the headphone jack of your device. For instance, um, your telephone. If you wanted to play a little Amanda Palmer. Um, uh, similarly, there's gadget two, which is doesn't have a cord on it, but could have a cord if you bring it in, just a pair of RCA jacks if you want either an additional thing, or something on your right, not on your left, because you're using a sub music submixer or something like that on that side. There's also the next thing along in the A position is the ability uh, is Bluetooth. So you can connect uh, any um, phone or computer um, via Bluetooth that you walk in on. Um, there's a button here to push. There's a little description of how to use it. You push and hold it and um, then you go to your phone and, um, or whatever, and you'll see DM200VR, again, that's labeled there. Um, that's now a Bluetooth connection. So if I unplug that and I went back and I played a little Amanda Palmer, suddenly she'd show up as a Bluetooth connection. Wow. Hey, Ma, totally wired, wired hands-free. Wow. Uh, oh, it's in Q speaker, sorry. I was like, where is that coming from? Uh, what's next? Um, so there's also um, turntables, the B input. So these, the, the, every module has an A and B input, just like the old board had. Um, if you can see this label, legend here, the A input is with the button unlit, and the B input is with the button lit red. So if we wanted to move over to the turntable inputs, um, right now we were listening to gadget one because it was on the A input, but if we switch this to get to the B input, B is turntable one. Mm -hmm. So annoyingly, the remote start doesn't work from the console. 
for the turntables. So we have this little box with remotes on it. So um, uh, I have one record queued up already. It's in queue there. We'll look at queuing in a moment. But if I, it's worked. If I just hit this. That was turntable one starting. And then to stop it, if you if you leave the fader up and you ro rock this switch to the stop position, you'll hear it go, go, which is kind of a cool effect on its own. <laughs> and obviously, you want to cue it into a silent space so you don't, you don't hear that. Right. Um, similar with turntable two here. Again, the B input turntable two here. So. All right. Um, uh, so playback from PC one. Um, is here, uh, fade, there's nothing else on the B side, uh, and PC2, which is sort of designed as our primary, primary, um, you know, playback, whatever. Keyboard is, uh, and mouse are here. Um, um, they are on a tray, you can slide in and out. The monitor can be pulled in or out and lifted and angled as needs be. And, um, it's using a USB connection, so it's, uh, uh, it's not there. Hmm. What else is that there? Ah, because I can switch it to B. There's, uh, 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 Anna and what's her name, uh, playing along with a 1946 archival recording, one of my personal faves, Jean and Jeanette, Jeanneau and Jeanette. Uh, Anna and Elizabeth, that's this duo. I'm going far away. Okay, yep. enough of that. Um, CDs, one, two, three, four. There's no remote uh, start for those, so you have to reach over and plug them in. One, two will be in later this, by tomorrow morning. Um, uh, over here we have, there's outlets over here, you just, there's outlets on the left for your computer phones, there's outlets here for your devices. Mm -hmm. um, this is the gadget inputs as previously mentioned, so you mm -hmm. can plug in uh, ex other ex additional or other external devices here, you can use either side. Um, Ethernet jack if you want to plug your laptop into the network here. And this is a USB jack for air to computer so if you want to bring in a thumb drive with files to play back you can plug it in here open up your application on the pc and play it back from there alternately if you have a recording application on air 2 you could record to a thumb drive here mm -hmm. and if the phone rings so do you want to do phones now or do phones separate uh let's do phones separate okay we'll be back folks